Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about left outer join operation. Join operations match tuples which satisfy the given join condition. Only tuples with a matching tuple appear in the result. This amounts to loss of information. For example, Suppose there are two relations R and S. This is relation R and this is relation S. Now see this join operation. The result of this join operation is this relation. In the resulting relation of this join operation, this tuple of relation R will not appear because there is no tuple in relation S in which value of attribute D is same as the value of attribute B of this tuple of relation R. Similarly, this tuple of relation S will also not appear in the resulting relation. Now see this natural join operation. In this natural join operation, only tuples from R that have matching tuples in S and vice versa appear in the result. This amounts to the loss of information. By the set of operations called outer joints, we can keep all the tuples in relation R or all the tuples in relation S or all those in both relations in the result of the join operation regardless of whether or not they have matching tuples in the other relation. In this tutorial we will study about left outer join operation. left after join operation is denoted by this symbol. The result of this left after join operation will have every tuple of left relation R. If a tuple of relation R doesn't have any matching tuple in relation S, then the attributes of relation S in the resulting relation will be padded or filled with null values. Suppose this is relation R and this is relation S. The result of this left outer join operation is this relation. This resulting relation contains all tuples of relation R. This tuple of resulting relation is formed by combining the tuple of relation R with the tuple of relation S having same value of attribute B and then removing duplicate attributes. This tuple of resulting relation is also formed in same way. Now see this tuple of relation R. It doesn't have any matching tuple in relation S. It is also present in resulting relation and attributes of relation S are filled or padded with null values in resulting relation. Thank you very much.